Well, hello everyone and welcome to Uni Voyage. This is Aditya Desai and the chapter that we are going to be studying today is Profit and Loss. Again, this is a basic arithmetic chapter and uh, you might get two to three sums uh, in your exams in the MCQ questions. So, uh, one very important thing that I've always told about arithmetic questions, uh, arithmetic chapters too, is that doing them correctly is not our goal. Doing them correctly as well as quickly is what is important because these are a few of the chapters where you can get the answer if you plug in values to the formulas and then anyone can get an answer but that's not what our goal is our goal is to solve them as quickly as possible using the shortcuts that we are going to be discussing in the video all right so this is a formula sheet you guys can take a picture or we've attached this formula sheet in the telegram group uh, the link has been given for the same in the description as well so you guys can uh, note this gain is of SP minus CP, loss is CP minus SP, gain percentage. One thing very important is that uh, gain percentage or loss percentage until and unless it's mentioned explicitly uh, to be taken on an SP. Otherwise, all the cases, it has to be taken on CP. Okay, gain percent or loss percent. Every time it will be calculated on the cost price until and unless it's mentioned explicitly in the question okay so uh, selling price is 100 plus gain percent into cp selling price again is 100 minus loss and in percent into cp all right this these are formulas okay but we won't be using them we'll have to try to find out a shortcut because doing all this is an, an exam is going to take us time so we're going to be discussing a lot of shortcuts too Okay, so again, this is the percentage conversion table that I highlighted in the percentages video as well. If you guys haven't checked out that, do check it out as well. But this is a very, very primary and a very key table. You guys have to remember this because it's going to be important not in your not just in your arithmetic based questions, but also it's going to give you great help in your data interpretation questions. So, as I mentioned in my percentages video as well, you should be able to know this both the ways. If I ask you what's 1 by 7, you should be able to tell me it's 14.28. If I ask you what's 16.66, you should be able to tell me it's 1 by 6. So, you need to know, remember this both the ways. Alright. Uh, then, alright. Let's move on to the first question. Find a single discount. Uh, is the screen visible? I don't completely. Alright, I'll switch off my video so that it's completely visible. Cool. Uh, question one, find the single discount to equal three consecutive discounts of 10%, 12% and 5%. All right. So here always you can assume, let's say the value to be 100. Then you have to calculate three consecutive discounts. So you always take the most difficult discount that you will find out to calculate. In the exam, you'll have an on-screen calculator. Make sure that you guys get accustomed to that because it's you'll have to click with your mouse. So it's going to be pretty difficult. But uh, if you guys get accustomed to that, it would be great. Otherwise, I'll show you the technique here as well. So minus 12%, it's easier to calculate on 100. So always take the difficult percentage first. So minus 12 would give you 88. All right. Then you take minus, let's say, 5%. All right, so that would be around four point minus okay one second minus five percent. So the value you're gonna get is you subtract four point four from this. So that's gonna be eighty three point six. Then what you do is minus ten percent. The value that you're gonna get is seventy five point two four. So what's the uh, of a single discount equivalent to all these discounts is 100 minus 75.24, which is 24.76. Okay, this is your answer. Cool. And I'm going to be discussing really interesting questions. So make sure that you guys tune in till the end because they're going to be some very interesting and amazing questions that uh, that are going to come up, right? A dishonest businessman professes to sell his articles at cost price but uses false weights which with which he cheats by 10% while buying and by 10% while selling. So find his percentage profit. 
in this one what we are going to do is again let's say he is selling worth rupees 100% 100 rupees and he cheats the okay he cheats by 10% while buying so basically he is buying at 90 and he cheats percent and he uh, cheats by 10% while selling as well so he sells at 110 the 10 percent will be calculated on this original value now so this becomes this was his cp plus uh, the cheat that he used to do this is his original cp and this is his original selling price the actual selling price okay so finally the percentage profit would be 20 by 90 into 100 and again if you guys know the percentage table you guys can easily solve it this would come up to 20 this would come up to 22.22 percent because 1 by 9 is 11.11 so 2 by 9 would become 22.22 percent okay then we have oranges are bought at 12 for uh okay oranges are bought at 12 for a rupee and sold at 10 for a rupee find the percentage profit or loss so there's a shortcut for this as well that there is a shortcut called as the difference between the goods that are bought and sold like the goods that are left is basically two right because he's buying 12 for a rupee and then just uh, selling 10 for a rupee so the difference between the goods that he is buying and selling basically the goods that are left with him upon selling price into 100 this is a shortcut which is applicable all right i'll write it goods left upon uh, sold into 100 this is a specific formula used for only such cases where you buying a particular amount of goods at a certain price and you're selling a particular amount of goods at the same price okay so he's buying for one rupee and then selling something for one rupee so the value that you're going to get the profit that he makes is going to be the difference in the goods the goods basically that are left with him upon the goods sold into 100 so that's 20 percent you can do it your normal way as well but this is a quick quicker technique and that is what we are concerned with that we need to learn shortcuts for all these right then a shopkeeper allows the rebate of 25 percent to the buyer he sells only smuggled goods and as a bribe he pays 10 percent of the cost of uh, the article if the cost price is 2500 then find what should be the market uh, mark price if he desires to make a profit of 9.09 percent all right so there is nothing to get uh, worried about by the length of this question it's you obviously won't do it in the first go i would suggest but if you have time then definitely you should attempt this because it's not really a difficult question so the cost price that we have is 2500 that is given here okay then what he does is pays 10 percent bribe 10 percent of the cost of article so that's 250 rupees so this is the bribe value equals 2750 rupees cool then he wants a profit of 9.09% uh, on his value okay now if you guys again have learned the percentage conversion table you will know that if you have 100 let's say and if you want to increase a particular uh, sorry if you want to decrease a particular value by 9.09% which translates to 1 by 11 you will have to oh uh, okay this is gonna give you 100 900 upon 11 and in order to get it back to 100 you guys will have to increase this by 10 percent which is basically 1 by 10 this i had mentioned in my percentage for a uh, percentage video as well so you guys can check that out this is a basic percentage conversion trick that if you're reducing it by 1 by 11 you'll have to increase it by 1 by 10 and what they're doing is in order to make a profit of 9.09 percent so basically what he'll do is that he wants to make a profit of 9.09 in 
this value so basically into 1 by 11 and you should remember this via the percentage conversion table okay so this is going to give you 250 again so that becomes 3000 and then what we see is that he allows a rebate of 25% so on the original price he is allowed to in the original marked price he is allowed a rebate which means he's decreased it by 1 by 4 that's 25% and then if he wants to increase it as in from th then he's resulted in 3000 okay because rebate and then he gets this value this is after rebate 3000 if he wants to get back to the mark price what he'll have to do is again this is 1 by 4 it has to be increased by 1 by 3 so if you do 1 by 3 of 3000 you're gonna get 1000 so the final marked price should be 4000 you guys can pause this uh, go back in the video revisit this question after a while try it yourself as well okay this these all questions are gonna be understood by you only if you try them out okay you do you can't just expect to watch videos and then learn you'll have to work on that as well and we've provided practice questions and everything we're here to guide you guys so we've provided with practice questions and all sort of other question answers that we feel because we've been through this so we know what could come and what is expected so we've provided with everything in a pdf format and inside the telegram group and the link is given in the description for the same so you guys can join that as well all right so now moving on to the fifth question a man sells three articles one at loss of 10 percent another at a profit of 20 percent and third one at loss of 25 percent the selling price of the three items is uh, all three is same find out by how much percent is the average cp lower or higher than the sp so again this is a basically percentage conversion thing only what you have to do is again let's say you assume the value for all the three p's three sp's to be 100 100 100 all right so 100 100 and 100 this is the sp for all the three values then a man sells three articles one at loss of 10 percent so basically if you're reducing the value by 1 by 10 you'll have to increase the value by 1 by 9 okay this is a basic rule so basically from cp in order to get to sp you're reducing the value by 1 by 10 so in order to get back to sp you'll have to do it by 1 by 9 okay so if you read 1 by 9 is again if you guys have known the conversion table you will know it's 11.11 so 111.1 would become your cp for the first good then similarly following the same fashion you're another at a profit of 20 percent so this is basically a profit of 20 percent for it which is 1 by 5 so here the value is actually increased to by 1 by 5 and if you want to decrease it back to 100 what you need to do is here the value should be decreased by 1 by 6 in order to go back to the original price so 1 by 6 is again 16.66 so i'll subtract it from here because i have increased the price from 83.33 this is the cp guys and here we are having a profit of 20 percent then third one is at a loss of 25 percent so again similar logic it's coming down by 25 percent so which is 1 by 4 so it has to go up by 1 by 3 which is 33.3 so 133.33 sorry for the handwriting guys we aren't really used to writing anymore so 327.77 would become the total cp if you add all this and then when you have to divide by three obviously to get the average uh, sp average cp and average sp that they've mentioned okay so here the value you're gonna get is one you don't have to worry guys you'll have an on-screen calculator 
so 25.66 so basically we would assume the sp to be 100 and our oh okay so we assume the sp to be this higher than their sp okay so here they've explicitly mentioned that we have to calculate the increase on the sp so our base value won't be cp here it would be sp we are measuring the change on the basis of selling price so if the cost price is 109.2566 and our selling price was 100 naturally the increase would be 9.2566 percentage all right this is going to be our final answer guys make sure you watch all this again and you guys have to do it by yourself as well i'm again repeating this so here we come to the end of this session and we've attached a lot of more practice questions based on profit and loss percentage and each and every uh, chapter that we're gonna help you get covered and so thank you guys again hope you enjoyed the session and success is the sum of small efforts repeated day in and day out so you guys need to keep on keep at it sometimes you might feel low or sometimes you might feel you're not getting a particular chapter it's fine it's fine to stumble but you don't have to stop uh, moving ahead right so and we are here to and help you guys and we are here to kind of guide you through the entire process be it aptitude be it interview anything so please guys make sure that you uh, do share and subscribe this video please share it with other participants as well it's going to be a great help for them and please do share it with your friends and everyone that you can. We are putting really genuine efforts, taking out time from our studies at IIM. So it's a humble request that you guys do subscribe and like this video. And now I'll see you guys next time. So till that, follow us on our social media accounts and uh, check out the Telegram group link that we've given in the description. So thank you guys and we'll see you next time. All right. Bye-bye.